picked here. Now, a nice outside shot by Kevin, trying to keep the pace. And here comes T, coming off the pick. Thinking about it, moving the ball over to Eddie. Out to Antonio, you gotta get up on Antonio. He can shoot from the outside, but T, you gotta get on him because he might just launch from anywhere. Here comes Kevin bringing the ball down the middle, looking for some gaps, he sees a gap. And that kind of pace that I was talking about, being able to pace himself in the lane. He's got great balance. He uses his body well to be able to score. And right there is taking the lead now, 40 to 39. Eddie's gonna go inside, looking inside, moving the ball around. There could be a trap. Nobody wants to trap him. TJ leaving him open. Mid-range, crafty. Nice little crafty move by TJ. Getting the defense to jump. Outside shot, no good. And here comes Night Owls. Francis, Francis on his heels. Couldn't get back. No call there. Antonio with the left hand, nice. Now, now with a six point lead right now, Hopper Breeze gonna have to start moving the ball around. It, they gotta be careful when they start playing this one on one because they start shooting tough shots, but Fabian with a mid range is nice. Highlights of tonight's games right now. So far, first game, six and, 16 and a half minutes to go in the game, 42-49. Hopper Breed down right now to the Night Owls. And as you can see, Francis on the free throw line, hitting the free throw there. Let's see if they can come back here. Just showing you some highlights of what's going on here down in the first game. Three games tonight. We'll see you all down here soon. Forty-three, forty-nine. Hopper Breed down by six. Fifteen and a half minutes to go in the game. The game has looked like it's slowed down a little bit. The ball moving around pretty well for Hopper Breed. Chase going in strong and good. Out of bounds pass there by T. He's given Hopper Breed a chance to get back in this game. 45-49 at the 15 minute mark left in the game. Kevin Strong going inside. TJ, show you how strong it really is, gets blocked. And here comes Antonio. We got a high pick here. We got a Ball moving right there, and almost stolen. Wasn't paying attention, they could have had an easy steal there. Hopefully the team kind of shorts. 
We're now, oh, good pass. Takes it in. Bang, bang. Well, there you are, 47-49, 14 minute mark. Night Owl is allowing the uh, Hop of Breed to get back in this game. This game could come down to the wire. And of course, always it's going to come down to efficiency, down to the wire, and time management, and being able to control the pace of this game down the stretch. And another turnover by Hop of Breed. They had the rebound, did not secure it. And now, from a two point to a four point game right now, TJ, very good on the post. Good pass there, no good. Again, Chase doing what he does best, doing the dirty work down low. That's a nice little combo between TJ and Chase with a high-low post-play passing game. Good move inside. Good. Ball moving over to Francis. Francis is going to move over to Jackson. Jackson takes a three and good. And just like that, this game is a one point game at the 13 minute mark. They're gonna have to call a timeout. Night Owls are gonna have to talk about this. Like I said earlier, you know, I'm down here at MUV Fitness, you know, I could bring the girls down here and you know, I'm going down the row here and I got, of course, a recruit that we got from Alaska. You know, uh, she came down here and of course, she's here uh, improving, I mean, uh, 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 supporting. Uh, the guys down here, but as you can see, the girls are having a good time over here. Uh, I'll give you a little background on on the uh, the girl from Alaska here, Olivia. Olivia, tell tell everybody where are you from from Alaska and how's basketball up there, high school basketball? Uh, okay, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> uh, basketball's kind of underrated over there, but yeah, there's a lot of hoopers down there. So y'all should go scout them, because there's a lot down there. West side. Well, there you go. You got, you got Alaska in the house. And as we, as we uh, move our way down here, we got uh, another player here from Oahu and from, from uh, UH Lab High School. For everybody that, uh, uh, not from Hawaii, that is, that is a, a private school up there in downtown Honolulu. But I'll let, I'll let Alana tell you what was her journey when she played basketball at a young age going to high school? Um, I didn't really play much basketball when I was younger because my mom was scared I would get hurt. But um, I started playing PAL one year and then I pretty much went into high school and I had a blast. Well, there you go. You got the information. Alana from Honolulu here in of the Northwest starting her basketball journey here, being able to enjoy herself and make a name for herself down here for college basketball in Inwak. You know, I joke around it. You know, I, I love recruiting. I love that aspect of coaching. And, and I'm just sitting here with a ninth grader. And let's let you know, this girl, the, the, younger, da, the younger sister of Lex, uh, she's ready to start her high school basketball journey. And I just heard she's actually starting on the varsity team. And, uh, and the joke is, am I recruiting too young here? We have the ninth grader. I got here, got here, I got here, here sitting here next to me. Tell us your information and who you are, please. My name is Jaquel. My name is Jaquel. Yeah. And, and where do you play, uh, where are you going to be playing high school ball this year? Nanakuli High School. Now, I heard, I know, I heard you're, you're going to the varsity, is that true? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I, know, I know sometimes, you know, coach sees talent and, and they, they want to ex exploit that situation and bring them up. Are you, how do you feel comfortably coming into high school and already being thrown up to the to the varsity? I feel comfortable because I played in their outside league with them already. Ah, I see, I see. Now, you did come down with your mom, and of course you're here visiting your sister. And, uh, you know, with your mom, such a, a great support, and your dad's great support, how was it growing up with that family support? How do you like that? I liked it a lot. Yeah. Now, 
You're going to be at Nana Cooley High School. Do you have aspirations like your sister to be, you know, to even play uh, uh, college basketball like your sister? Yes. So you're going to be coming down and visiting, of course, your sister and be able to watch some, some college games this year? Yeah, probably often. So what, what's your experience now that you've been visiting here in the Northwest? I mean, you've, you've been able to see some college practices. Uh, what do you see differently if, if you kind of compare high school ball and college ball? What's, what kind of difference do you see? It's more intense and longer. Yes, that's true. That is true. Now, you know, me being, you know, growing up in Hawaii, playing Hawaii basketball in uh, Moana Loa High School, I know it's one of those, it's not the high school you, 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 you're going to, but with Nana Cooley, um, what are your rivals that you play in high school? What schools? Wide eye. Wide eye? So you, you playing AAU and all that, do you have teammates or friends that you played with that might be going to Y and I? No, I do not. No. Oh, really? So everybody's going to Nana Cooley? Yes. Oh, okay. So just to let you people out there know, uh, Oahu West West Side, you got Nana Cooley and Y and I, those are they're good rival schools. What other schools that you play with or against? Pro City. Yes. Okay. So, like I said, she's down here, you know, hanging out with her sister, of course. Uh, but you guys are going on another trip. You got a, you got a, another sibling, huh? What's, what's going on over there in Vegas? My brother is getting married. Wow, nice. Yeah. Now you are the youngest in your family, and you do have uh, your brother that's getting married. Now, what's the age difference from the youngest? to the oldest? I think 21. 20. My oldest brother is 34. So there you go. There, there are some parents out there that just love kids and love to be able to raise them. And, and matter of fact, I'm here with the mom right now. The woman that, that has a nine-year-old and a 34-year-old, I give her so much credit because, you know, raising kids is so tough. I only have one daughter. But mom, how is it having a gap of 21 years between kids? Is that what it is? 21 years or 20 years? Let's call it. How is it? How is it uh, when you when with with boys and girls raising them in sports? What do you see differently, or do you? It's kind of the same thing. Um, with them being in sports, yes. um, I don't see anything different. What I do see is that um, hard work. Beats talent, no, yeah, you know, okay. because um, yes, yes, yes. they have to give a lot of their hard work, I believe, and be consistent, mm -hmm. determinate, um, determination is also a big factor, yes. and um, support. Support, yes. And I think I can exemplify that tonight, yes. being here as a support yes. for my daughter, as. Yes. She got hurt, and I'm here, yes, you are. and we're checking out a game, and something that we love watching is yes. basketball. Yes. Yeah, and well, I feel that we're part of a basketball family because both of my, well, two of my sons used to um, run pickup balls, okay. pickup games, and um, one son got recruited to Japan, a full ride, really? as a football wow. player. He was... Um, cornerback, CB, and he had a full ride to Japan. He was one of two that Japan picked up. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Well, see, that's something I never heard, Sam. Sam, uh, I've met Sam, of course, uh, uh, with her journey, bringing her daughter over here to play for Shoreline College, where I coach. And I, I was just amazed by uh, the fact that she's raised these kids and, and the love sports and be successful in these in, in these sports. And I, I'm super impressed with, of course, her daughter Lex that plays for her for us. Um, she's one of the quicker guards that we have, and I see so much talent in her. And but the one of the things she has, she has that humbleness about her, but she's got that work ethic and she's got that determination. And I always gotta say it's gotta come from the parents, right, Mom? Yes, <laughs> yes. That's first and foremost. It starts at home. Yes, yes. Well, it's always great to have support here. Thanks, Mom, for coming down here. Sam, the mom of Lex, and, of course, she's got her youngest daughter here. Uh, 
visiting also, and I love it when we can come come together as people and be able to talk about our basketball journeys here. But she's she's just the beginning for mom over here. She's going to be able to watch her daughter play here in the Northwest in the NWAC and, and see some great things. But right now, right now, we're here at six minutes to go in the game, 66 to 67. The Night Owls got a one-point lead. This is going to be exciting coming down the stretch. And T with a strong layup there, putting the lead up to three, 69-66. We got a timeout at the 553 mark here in the first game of the night. We got some of the guys coming in for the next game. We got Resilience playing tonight. And I see, I see some faces that's played with other teams before, and they're back, and you're going to see a dynamic group, a dynamic game at the 8 o'clock game. Good there. Sabian finding his spot in the mid range but did not make it. Now, TJ, the, the crafty veteran guard here, taking his time moving the ball around. He's got it into the hands that can shoot. Moving over to Duck, throws it down low to Antonio. Now, Antonio's got a mismatch here, being the bigger player, but he moves it back out to Doug. Doug's going to take a three, no good. And here comes Hoppa Bree, down three with five minutes to go. This is a very important, oh, we got a foul. And what are we gonna call that? The foul is down. So we're gonna take the ball out of bounds. The clock is running. 66-69. Corner over to TJ, looking in the post. Jackson's gonna try to take advantage of the size. No good, throws it up. Four and a half minutes to go here. It's going to come down to the wire here. The Night Owls is the type of team. They will slow this game down and make sure they get the right shot at the right time. And with TJ or T missing that shot, gives Hoppa Breed a chance now to cut into this three-point lead. Fabian, this is clutch. Is this clutch? No, he misses it. It was right there. Eddie going in and scores with a foul against Fabian. And now we're looking at a five point game at the four minute mark. The clock runs and anytime you're on the free throw line with the clock running in men's league, that's just a situation where they can kill this clock. It went from a one possession game and now to a two possession game and a very big two possession game. We got six points that Hopper Breed's gonna have to come back and if they want to have a chance to win this game. Ball moving over to TJ. TJ's going to get inside. There, there's the ball moving around. Francis is going to take a quick three-pointer. Good! Francis, the dynamic shooter from the outside, making that shot. 69-72 at the three-minute mark. Let's see here. Can Fabian stop the crafty guard? TJ's tough. He's a tough defender. Eddie moving the ball around. Antonio thinking about it, but they're going to move this ball around. They're not in a rush. You know, uh, they don't need to score. They know they have the lead, but there is a shot that goes up and no good. Now here it is, two and a half minutes to go, and a great, a very smart foul. 
The veteran foul there to stop the transition of Hopper Breed. Oh, right here, right here. Here we go, 69-72. Fabian moving the ball over to Kevin now. Kevin's got to be very, very choosy here with the ball. Oh, he gets inside the paint and the foul. We got two shots. Peter, Peter, Peter. So the two minute mark is coming down to the wire here. Kevin, known for his shooting, uh, very good with the free throw line, has now cut this game down to two points. So Kevin gets one more shot here. He's at that calmness on his face. He's very comfortable from being from the free throw line, hitting that shot. Now it's a one point game and here comes the Night Owls. They don't need to score. They can hold the ball. Hoppa Breeze is going to play very conservative and keep them outside. But they're going to have to get to a point where they might have to foul if they don't go for it. But Antonio's going up and makes it. And now a three-point game. Clock is running. One minute and 30 seconds to go. Hoppa Breeze is going to have to make a decision here. Bring it down. Do they go inside or do they go outside? Do they go for the three for the tie? They got the high pick and roll going. There's a quick shot from the outside. Good! Kevin with the shot from the outside, tying the game. Now down to a minute to go. 74-74. This is why I love this game. The strategy of basketball and what they're gonna do. And they got him trapped there. Oh, throw it is inside. And no, blocked. Clock, 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 clock. 74, 74, 51 seconds to go. Actually gonna move the clock up because the scorekeeper didn't stop it. 52.5 seconds, 74, 74. Antonio on the free throw line, pressure shot, and good. Takes the one point lead. Second shot is up, and good. Now we've got a two point game here. What does Hoppa Bree do here? Do they go for the tie? Do they go for the win? Do they shoot early? And he takes a quick shot. No good. Offensive rebound. It looked like a foul, but he did make it. We all tied up 30 seconds to go. This is going to come down to a last shot. How is Hopper Bree going to play this? TJ, there's a steal. Time out. Great steal by Hopper Bree. What a play, unbelievable. That's a veteran play by Hoppa Breed. Good job. So here it is, 23 seconds. All right, guys, this is coming an exciting time. 23.9 seconds to go. Hoppa Breeze got a chance to win the game. What a steal. What a defensive stop by TJ King. Being able to get a steal, and not only a steal, but was, was smart enough to call a timeout. And here we go. All right. Francis got the ball at the top against TJ. Okay, we got a dribble. Okay. 76. 13 seconds to go. Keep your, keep your eye out. Here we go. Francis thinking about it. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Attack it. Make him foul you. So we get on free 
All right, here we are, overtime, guys, in the first game of the night. Um, I got Illisvai shot, you know, former player of mine, stays at the top of the key, should have drove and get a foul out of the situation, at least make the defense have to, have to play defense. You're taking an NBA three-pointer with only seconds left. What are we setting the game up for? It's got to be, got to be smarter than that. Take it to the hole, force the defense to foul you, and be able to get on the free throw line and end the game. Now here we are in overtime, 76-76. One time each, 120, 20. So here we go, 76-76. Two minutes to go in overtime. And Francis cannot get to the ball. They had Fabian, the shortest guy on the team, jump ball. <laughs> Outside shot by TJ. That's a veteran right there. Clutch Gene in his blood, hitting that three. We've got to be very careful. Kevin taking a quick three. And uh, we got out of bounds, and we're staying here. Hopper Breeze got it. Clock is running. No, you know, it stops, it stops, it stops. Francis from the corner. He's going to have to think of something. He gets into the paint, throws it up. And good, TJ with a strong layup there, 78-79. One minute and 20 seconds ago, TJ, the veterans, got the ball, hitting the three earlier to take the three-point lead, moving the ball around to T. T's the dangerous shooter, don't let him shoot. This guy's gonna drive, go behind the back, spin move and lay it up, strong layup, unbelievable. Now we got a three-point game with a minute to go. Hopper Breed, bringing the ball slowly, gonna go to the high pick, where's the high pick? Got the, oh, there it is. We got a three. No, he goes in strong, throws it out. Mid-range. He's going to go inside strong, get a, get a layup. Nice. 44 seconds to go. One point game, 80 to 81. We got TJ. We're going to have the, we're going to force him. Oh, we got a, no foul there. They didn't call it. Okay, we got a foul. We got to put him on the free throw line. How many fouls? Five. Five? Yeah, two more to go. Two more fouls. Go, quick, quick, quick. There it is. Okay. Foul, foul, foul. Okay. 29 seconds to go. Next foul is a one and one. Kev. Francis, get your hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up. There it is. Okay. Oh, not the best people shooter. Well, there it is. 27 seconds to go. You know, you always want to try to get the ball to a lower percentage free throw shooter, but now we got the one of the best free throw shooters here on the free throw line. T on the free throw line. He kids ultimately bring this to a three-point game, and then Hoppe Breed will have to come down and try to tie it with a three, maybe. But it all comes down to these two free throws right here. The strategy changes with every free throw. No good. Hoppe Breed's got the ball. It's a one-point game. We get stuck. Okay, we got one. Okay? Hey, Francis, we get stuck. Get the ball back. Wait! 
There's still time on the clock. Let's go. Here he goes, down to 10 seconds. Here we go, TJ looking for it. Eddie going inside, and good. Time out, time out. Teddy Wolf, he's right there. Two eighty-three right now. Three, three seconds to go. Hey, TJ, TJ. There it is. Yes. All right, guys, for you guys watching this game, that was a great finish down the stretch here. Hopper Bree comes out on top with a backdoor winner on an out-of-bounds play in overtime. Uh, I got to talk to Chase here. Chase, you know, I'm, uh, as, a, as a coach, as a captain, I'm looking at that situation. It looked like you're on your, your, your toes on a couple, you know, scenarios ready to take the ball out of bounds. What was your thought process right down there on the stretch here? I mean, we had a great play drawn up. I was putting trust in my coach and the play he drew up. <laughs> And I had my first, second, third option. The fourth option seemed to be the only one there. We hit him. He was wide open, made a perfect slip, and we won it. Unbelievable how that defense kind of slipped up and thought that was going to be the pass, and TJ was smart enough to see that back door. Great awareness by your side, too. Just a little patience, and it was right there like Christmas morning, baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Congratulations. Now, the pass came The pass came to TJ. TJ, come over here real quick. TJ, uh... You've done some amazing things in this game, and, and the one that really crosses my mind 
is uh, in regulation. You're up against a guard trying to cross over on you. We know that you can play the bigs and the smalls. What was your thought when you saw him crossing in front of you? Were you looking to go for that? Dennis, I'm tired. I was tired the whole game. I'm out of shape. But he was killing us. I, just, I knew I had to get one stop. Yeah. We got to stop him. He was busting all game. Shout out to uh, yeah. shout out to him, man. He uh, he killed us today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Inside and out. So yeah. you know we had to get a stop coming into the game, and then, uh, we all just came together. You know we haven't played a lot together as a team. Yeah. You know, but we got guards that can create. We got bigs that can play inside out. It's just yeah. a real versatile team. So I, I like yeah. playing with them. Now, what was going through your mind on that last play? Because uh, you know, like I was telling. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chase, I was a little nervous when he was kind of on his tippy toes throwing that. What were you feeling coming up over the defense? How do you read that? Honestly, um, I went to set a back screen, hoping that the defender might leave. Um, but then at the last minute, I, I went up. I, re I went back to my UC Davis wide receiver days. <laughs> I put a little route. I stopped on him. And, uh, no, it's a great pass, great look. That's the way to just stay engaged. I figured if anything, he would just throw it up, and I would have a jump ball situation, try to get a shot up. But, uh, you know, luckily I lost him, and we got an easy one, so. Right, great yeah. Pass, great pass. I, I was thinking how you were kind of uh, gathering yourself on that layup because I was thinking, whoa. Dennis, I wanted to dunk it, Dennis. I wish I could go back and dunk it. But if I would have missed that dunk, my legs is dead, I would have felt like the yeah. biggest idiot in the world because yeah. that was an easy layup. I was like, please just don't miss this yeah. layup. Take the win. Uh, but next time I'll flush it, though. So. Man, congratulations, brother. Great move. Uh, Fabian, Fabian over here, you know, of course, Fabian over here from Hawaii. Hawaii, uh, you know, you played down low in high school, and now you're kind of a guard. How comfortable are you playing as a guard, and, and, and are, you, are you still comfortable playing down low? Um, well, all my life I've always wanted to be play a guard, you know, but then all the time, every time I'm in the team, I'm kind of always the biggest guy on the team, so yeah. all my coaches just put me on the bottom. Yeah. And it was a good skill to build, you know. So every time, like, now that I'm a guard, now I'm going to college, I can use this as an advantage yes. when our small guards are guarding me. And I can just still bang it. Yes, I'm still confident with my guard, um, big skills down there. There you go, man. Congratulations. Good job, brother. Woo! What a game here. Uh, down here at uh, MUV Fitness, the first game is done. Hopper Bree went in overtime. But now, here we are, game number two. We've got, of course, resilience up against Powerhouse. Powerhouse, of course, Anton's team. You see what he has tonight. He's always got guys coming in and be good. But... Uh, I'm looking over here at Resilience, and they got a, a few names coming in. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens tonight. 